Constant rain across the Tennessee Valley has caused trees to fall on homes, cars, and power lines. Dallas Payton joins us live from East Ridge, where a tree fell today and has since been cleaned up. Dallas. Cindy David, early today, a tree fell from this yard onto this car, which is in another yard. One tree company owner I spoke with says you can prevent this. You can prevent this by taking certain measures uh, from happening from to you or your neighbor. Daniel Wysong, the owner of Wysong Tree Services, says there are steps homeowners can take to protect their property during storms. So the biggest thing is to go out and look at your trees, see if you've got any cracks, any cavities, any fungus growing up the sides of the tree. Uh, look at the limbs, see if you're getting any dieback where the limbs are just falling. If you start having a lot of fallen limbs, it may be time to have somebody come out and take a look at the tree and assess it and give them, get a professional opinion. The best time to get a tree cut down or trimmed is between November and the end of January. Wysong says there are less bugs and better working conditions. He says taking care of a bad tree now could save you money down the road. Rough guesstimate would probably be around $2,500 to $3,000 for a tree. Uh, the, average, the average insurance cost is probably going to be between $15,000 to $20,000 on getting a tree done. Michelle Mason, the president of the Better Business Bureau, says when hiring a tree company, do your research to make sure you don't fall victim to a scam. Well, you can use Better Business Bureau as a source if you don't already have some names in mind for tree removal services. You can visit bb.org. Um, you can also certainly talk to family and friends, neighbors who've had experience with the company before and get referrals that way. Once you find a company, making sure they have the correct credentials should be the next step. Make sure the company holds the correct licenses and certainly because of the nature of removing large trees from your yard, you want to make sure that they can show proof of liability insurance, workers comp insurance. Um, we encourage people if they're you know using large cranes, make sure they have someone who is licensed to operate those cranes. Mason says to also be mindful of people who are going door to door offering to cut down trees and also people who are asking to bill you up front before work begins. Reporting live in East Ridge for Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.